joy. I think it was probably early in like the winter. It was a very cold swim in Nanaimo and I was like impressed that I was doing it. I'm kind of like crying a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was more the feeling of being in the water because it was such a beautiful like sunset, but it was like all pink and purple and we were just like, it was freezing cold water. At first I was just so cold that I was like, I'm not gonna do it. But then once I was in and I was just kind of like, I'm doing it. And you have this, I had this like giddy little kid feeling, yeah. What was the hardest decision you've ever had to make? And do you have any regrets? My mind always goes to the first time I lived alone in Edmonton and I was like 27 um, and I was like just kind of getting into a really bad relationship probably the worst relationship I have ever been in and I left my apartment that I was living alone in to move in with this person it definitely like changed my life and was very very difficult for the next five years so yeah what are you holding on to that's holding you back I think I have a lot of limiting beliefs about myself um, and about the world. My like ability to feel compassion is also a bit, not a curse, but I think that I can really latch on to how awful everything is for myself and for other people. Um, and I think that holds me back sometimes. Do you think that your parents did a good job raising you? It's like painful to say no, because I think that they tried their best. I think my parents really wanted to be parents and maybe didn't know what to do when their kids like grew up to have other opinions and be different people than them. I think they tried their best um, and I don't think they did a good job. <laughs> yeah.